All right, can you believe it? It's already going into week four. We're talking week four waiver wire pickups here today. Got a list of some players you may want to consider picking up. Now, today's episode is going to be short and sweet. I've got a cold. When you send your, when you send your daughter to school, sometimes kids come back with colds, and I've got one. But that being said, I've got a deeper, more soothing voice, I would hope. But uh, you guys probably noticed that there's definitely some uh, difference in my voice here. So I'm going to get you guys the information here today, but the energy level might be a little bit uh, on the lower side. But that's okay. We're going to talk. We're going to get that information for you guys. Make sure you guys are set here for waiver wire week four. So got some important names here that you may want to consider picking up. Did all the homework for you. All you got to do is absorb the information, all right? Before I get into this, though, if you have not treated yourself, head on over right now, manscaped.com. Get the lawnmower 4.0. Stay groomed. Stay fresh. Skin safe technology right here in my hand. Amazing product. Use code SHOWERLINE20 upon checkout. Amazing products. Also, try the body wash shampoo. Deodorant. Paraben free. Good for you. And it's super safe for you. Okay, guys? Amazing products, manscaped.com, shower line 20, go treat yourself, all right? If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe. I don't really sound like this all the time if you're new. Uh, we're going to bring you a lot of energy. Now, I also want to talk a little bit before we get into the news and notes here <clears throat> going into this. Um, I, obviously, you guys saw Saquon Barkley tear it up. I want to just make a point here that nobody had Saquon Barkley top 10. In the rankings, I looked. I have receipts. All of the so-called top experts and industry experts, nobody's got Saquon top ten. I had him top three. So Saquon Barkley tearing it up, <clears throat> looking like the guy that I said he would look like contract year. If you guys listen to my podcast, you know. So congrats to you guys if you got Saquon Barkley. Congrats to you guys that you got Derrick Henry for a bounce back week. It was exciting. Go back and check the review episode Studs and Sucks uh, for more information on this. But because the Monday Nighter was not included. In the studs and sucks. I got to say congrats to <clears throat> Zeke Elliott getting a touchdown. And of course, Saquon Barkley having a good game. All right. And other news here as well. Uh, Sterling Shepard suffered a serious knee injury. Again, if you look at that, it looked really weird because nobody touched him. He's flopped like a soccer player. But either way, it looks apparently a serious could be career ending here because uh, he had the major knee injuries before. And it looks like, uh, yeah, his season's likely over. Maybe a career. Who knows at this point in his, uh, in his career. Uh, very sad to see that. Uh, other news here that you may want to be aware of. Uh, David Montgomery is day-to-day. I know he was banged up, which we'll talk about here. Khalil Herbert. A lot of people want Khalil Herbert, but understand that David Montgomery's coming back. Now, could Khalil... And we'll, we'll, we'll roll right into waiver wire week four here. Uh, Khalil Herbert, a lot of people want to pick him up. 20 attempts, 7.8 yards per carry. He had that long run. 157 yards, had himself a good game, which is fine, but will that continue? I mean, will that continue with Montgomery coming back? Probably not, but he's going to get more work, okay? So that's something to be aware of it, when you're talking news is that Montgomery is day-to-day with that ankle. He's going to come back. He's going to get work. Should be good to go. Uh, Samaje Piran got some work, but Joe Mixon was banged up. He should be good to go. His ankle was banged up week four. Should be back. Samaje got some work. A lot of people, you know, go to the waiver wire saying, I got to get Samaje, maybe as a handcuff to mix him, possibly. But <clears throat> other than that, um, he, you know, don't expect him to get work. Mixon's the guy, okay? So again, don't just buy the recency bias. Understand that there's ramifications for your decision. So yeah, you want to get yourself right now. You want to get, you know, you're excited to get Khalil Herbert. You're excited to get P. Ryan. But understand, guys, there's complications because, you know, the, <laughs> you're not, you're not going to get those numbers next week with the starters coming back, okay? Another guy, Alexander Madison. Obviously, he's rostered mostly in a lot of leagues. But if he's not, obviously get him. Cook could miss a few weeks with his injuries. I called that as well. Uh, Traylon Burks, he's starting to emerge if you want a wide receiver. Romeo Dobbs, Chris Olave, all good options. But guys I talked about, if you listen to this channel, this is nothing new, okay? These guys are... You know, on waiver wire for this week, maybe they're already rostered and stashed. Romeo Dobbs should be on your radar already. I double stacked him in drafts with Christian Watson. He emerged this week, okay? Christian Watson was out, so there's an opportunity there with the hamstring. You had Sammy Watkins out. Uh, so the opportunity was there. Good for Romeo Dobbs. Took advantage of the opportunity. Did well, right? Chris Olave, another guy I talked about. I said I love Chris Olave this season, right? But he does not emerge until Michael Thomas gets hurt. What happens? Michael Thomas gets hurt, and he, and he emerges. I I don't know how to tell you how obvious some of this stuff is, but but it is. So it was a toe injury with Thomas. I'm not sure the extent of how long he'll be back, but Olave is definitely worth rostering. 
with those vets there with Landry and all these other older guys, he could really, really emerge as he did this week in his breakout week. So Olave, if he's available, make sure you roster it and have him on your roster, okay? So we talked about Herbert, we talked about Samaje, we talked about Madison being backups and good handcuffs because we're seeing injuries happen to these guys quite frequently, okay, with the guys ahead of them. So uh, Traylon Burke starting to break out. We talked about Romeo Dobbs. We talked about Chris Olave, okay? Other guys you may want to consider. I got a couple tight ends here. got some receivers. Mac Hollins, if he's available in your league. He's in the sixth season here, 6'4", 221, and emerging here as a wide receiver here on Vegas. Now, Mac Hollins, it's really weird because he's the guy that defines uh, my old saying, years to wow West guys that were not wow. The guy finished with 29, just under 30 points, uh, 10 targets, 8 receptions. And I was telling you guys this with Adams. Everybody wants Adams. Now, he's been saved by two touchdowns the past couple weeks. If not, Adams would be putting terrible numbers up. I told you, don't draft Adams because his numbers are not going to be like Aaron Rodgers. There's no Aaron Rodgers there. He's not going to get 169 targets. And sure enough, it's starting to it's starting to pan out like that. It's not he's not going to get that volume because they got Waller, they got Redfro, and now Matt Collins who came out of nowhere, right? So he's not going to get the volume that he, he, he we thought he would get, right? So now week three, we're starting to see things are starting to unfold and the truth is starting to come out. And a lot of my predictions are starting to happen. And you know, Adams is not going to be getting the volume. So going back to that, we talked about him last week, but Mac Hollins. Wide receiver, Vegas Raiders. You may want to consider him. Years to wow, so we're not wowed. He's finally emerging, okay, which is really weird. Again, maybe because Adams is drawing more coverage and attention, opening things up for Mac Collins. Like, who's that, right? So defenders are like, yeah, he's leaving. they're leaving him wide open, right? So maybe they'll start focusing on him now that, you know, he's got their attention. Uh, Swift, another guy. Again, I was right. DeAndre Swift, injured already. He's going to be out pro- shoulder uh, injury. So he's probably going to be out. Till after week six, seven, he'll be out, gone. This is a guy that everybody told you draft top 10. I said, avoid him, right? Jamal Williams, a guy, if he's available on the waiver wire, I consider grabbing him. It's it's his time. Uh, LaVisca Chenault had a mini breakout. It was a big catch and run. I believe it was a touchdown. Will that continue? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. But LaVisca Chenault, you may want to consider picking him up. KJ Osborne had a touchdown on the Vikings. We saw two bad weeks out of Justin Jefferson. We saw Adam Thielen emerge back where he belongs, which is the red zone getting a touchdown. K.J. Osborne getting some work as well. So K.J. Osborne, another guy you may want to consider picking up. Devontae Parker had himself a game as well. Parker, 10 targets, 5 receptions. Uh, What did he get? 156 yards, 20.6 points. Devontae Parker, New England. Um, A guy that I was suggesting as a sleeper stash. uh, Wild card. I think he's going to be boomer busty going into week week in, week out. Not sure if I trust him completely but another guy you may want to consider uh, if he's available in your league probably not brian robinson consider grabbing him brian robinson he's going to get some work okay consider grabbing him on uh, the washington commanders a guy that was drafted was drafted to take over antonio gibson's spot so you may want to consider making sure he's on your roster because you know near the second half of the season he could really really emerge okay brian robinson definitely want to consider him all right um, again, Antonio Gibson, years to wow us, we're not wowed, and he's known to have fumbles. So consider Brian Robinson, if he's available in your league, stash him second half of the season, or it's going to start emerging as a guy that's going to start taking off, all right? Um, other things, man, I'm telling you, Jelani Woods, I talked about him as well. Two touchdowns, three targets, two receptions. Jelani Woods, big red zone target for Matt Ryan, and the Colts surprising a lot of people this week. And again, I told you about the decline of Jonathan Taylor as well. A lot of my stuff is coming to fruition. Jonathan Taylor is going to decline, period. And sure enough, past three weeks, we're seeing that, okay? So let me pull up the season here and take a look at all the top running backs here. And Jonathan Taylor is number 10 right now, bottom line, right? He's had one rushing touchdown. That's it. That's it. Um, 61 attempts, 286 yards. Khalil Herbert, Jamal Williams, you know, Aaron Jones, Cordell Patterson, all ahead of him, okay? And things are going to change. James Robinson, who would have thought James Robinson would be a top three running back, right? I did. I I, I didn't know top three. That's pushing it. Definitely top 10 because I knew he was starting, right? So, again, guys, stay sharp on the wire. Address your needs. And understand, guys, if you drafted with 16 rounds and listen to my podcast, you're in good shape. You don't really need to go on the waiver wire too much unless you have a catastrophic injury, God forbid. But with 60 rounds, I'm good. I can hold, right? 
I haven't really had to go to the waiver wire too much. So, guys, if you draft a good team or you have the depth, you already know about this, okay? Um, another guy, Tyler Conklin, eight targets, eight receptions, 84 yards. May want to consider him. And that's it, guys. Very simple. And make sure you guys tune in the starts and the sits because I'm going to talk about, you know, the defenses to stream, optimal players for each position so it can help you with starts and sits. So make sure you guys are subscribed. But in regards to this week, take a look at who's available in the league. Deeper league, some of these guys may not be available. It's up to you guys to make a decision and acquire the right people. But always remember to address your needs, okay? Week four waiver wire. If you have any questions, drop them below. Uh, these waiver wire posts are going to be more Q&A. So I'll try to get to some of those below because at this point, your team should be solidified. After week four, I'm pretty much good aside from grabbing one or two waiver wire pickups. You should, you should be a solidified team. Now, there may be occasional breakouts, occasional injuries that happen, but your team should be pretty solid going into week five. Okay, you should know who your rosters are and who your starters are to week four, five, six, and beyond. All right. So if you're not, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, head on over to patreon.com forward slash FF counselor. Join the front lines here, direct access to me. Head over to manscaped.com. Shower line 20 is the code. Go treat yourself right now. Amazing products. Try the body wash, try the deodorant. You'll be very happy. All right. Waiver wire week four. Stay sharp on the wire. Address your needs, guys. Questions below. I appreciate you. I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.